Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and thanks for spending these next few moments with me as we go over the angelgram entitled, Not Quite Perfect Yet. It opens as this. Good morning, my friend. Rise and shine. Stretch those arms high and reach to the sky. Now stretch those legs as far as you can. You're stretching yourself to your limits. Now continue to stretch your spiritual life as far as you can. Guess what? There are no limits there. So the more you stretch, the more you grow. Get moving and get growing. Our scripture comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 20. And it reads as this. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. I believe there's probably a few people that would really benefit from looking at that verse and hearing it and really embracing it for what it means. We as Christians sometimes are holier than thou and sometimes we use our word of God as a hammer to beat people down and that was never its intent. God is love and everything we do should be done out of love. Even if it's godly correction, we should do it out of godly love. And we need to remember that but for the grace of God, there go I, regardless of what the situation is that we're looking at. Our scripture again is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 20, and it reads, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good, and sinneth not. This verse can be quite humbling, but every now and then it is good for you to look at it. It reminds you that you are a sinner. All that you accomplish and all that you do is not in your own strength, but in the strength of God. Through him, you can do all things, but it is only through him. You are a sinner by nature and are only able to overcome sin through and by the power of Jesus Christ. You are nothing on your own, but through him, you are everything. Guard against self-righteousness, but keep striving for perfection. Remember through him, you can and will do anything. Our angel to angel chat. Hey there, my friend, relax. Nope, you're not perfect, but you should be striving for godly perfection until the day he calls you home to heaven. I am so proud of you. This scripture is a, remember, a reminder to keep you on your toes. The devil would like nothing more than to get you focused on your righteousness and not on God's. Keep up the good work and make sure you keep your eyes upon the Savior. Remember God loves you. You are loved. Our key thought, the power to achieve is found in God. Let us pray. Our kind and most gracious, your heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We are so grateful that we have a personal relationship with you and that you walk and you talk with us. And Lord, we're so grateful that you look down and you saw sinful man, and you paid the price that we could not pay for the love that you give to us, Lord. That you knew that there was no way that we could be fit for heaven in a holy place unless you would sacrifice your son. And Jesus, thank you for paying the price we couldn't pay. Lord, we know you, you, you owed nothing. You were sinless and perfect on that cross. We also know, Lord, that the nails didn't hold you there. But it was your love for me and your love for others, for each person, Lord, that you call into the family of God, who, who calls upon your name and asks you to forgive them for their sins, Lord. That's who you died on the cross for. Lord, it's free to all. I ask that you would help us to look in our own hearts and realize that we are no better than anyone else and that everyone must come to you as the woman at the well did, Lord and they must ask you to cleanse them from their unrighteousness. And Lord, help us to understand that everything we achieve and everything that we have is a blessing from you and through and by the strength that you give us. Lord, help us to want to draw closer to you that we would have more and more power of you in us, that we would be greater lights to this lost and dying world. Lord, help us to draw closer to you, to find our time in that secret place, to be in that place where we pray and we study and we learn Lord, so that you can be with us, help us, that we learn more of you, 
that we turn to you more often. Lord, teach us to live constant in your presence and instant in prayer. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, amen.